I know what happened to Andy. Andy fell into it and died. <gasps> Why is he laughing? I know someone in that group killed Andy. I do not think that it was just a coincidence that he fell in. He was pushed and I will find out who his murderer was. <laughs> They're lying to you about what happened at the quarry? Andy? They never found the body. <laughs> Guys, Andy is alive. He is alive, he is well, and he is bitter because someone pushed him into that quarry. How can he be certain? Oh my gosh, he's gonna push me! Hey guys, it's Gabriella, and welcome back to another episode of The Last Goodbye. If you haven't seen the other ones, they're right up there in that playlist so you can go watch them and then come back to this video so you know what's going on because it's crazy and there's so much. We are only are two episodes in, but it's a lot, so you need to go watch it. <laughs> so before we jump in and see what's going to happen today, because it's going to be insane, make sure you're following me on all my social medias. We have Snapchat, so grab your phone and scan that code. We have Instagram, so join the fam, and don't you be bitter. Follow us on Twitter. All right, <laughs> what is going to happen today? That's not what I wanted. Hello, come back, thank you. All right, after class that day, I know what happened to Andy. Ooh, confronting him up front. That is a bold mood. What the? What do you know? That you guys were at the quarry and that Andy fell into it and died. He did not fall, he was pushed. I know it! <gasps> Andy fell into it and died. <gasps> Why is he laughing? Oh my gosh! What are you laughing for? I'm laughing because it's so absurd that we're even talking about it. I still can't comprehend that he's gone, that I'm actually having this conversation right now. I'm sorry that it happened. I know you and Andy were close. With all due respect, you know nothing about the situation. Who told you about the quarry anyway? It was Claire, wasn't it? I knew she wouldn't be able to keep her mouth closed. Yes, it was Claire. But in her defense, she tried very hard to keep it a secret. I badgered her relentlessly until she gave in. So what? Now that you know what happened, you think you know me? You think you know the torment I'm feeling? I didn't say that. I just understand a bit better why you are the way you are. <laughs> That's so rude, Gabriella! Andy died. He's never coming back. I know it must be hard for you. You have no idea. Maybe I don't. Stop being so rude! No, maybe I don't. But, cause you don't. Maybe I don't. Look. <gasps> I... I'm sorry. I know I'm being unreasonable. I just, I can't comprehend that he's not coming back, you know? I can only imagine. Anyway, enough about the quarry. What did you think of Caleb's speech? It was great. It was okay. It was terrible. No, I mean, it was great. It was a back to school speech. I mean, I, I don't know. It was great. Yeah, Caleb's a legend. He's so great with an audience. The freshman girls are always obsessed with him. Every year it's guaranteed. As soon as he leaves the auditorium, it's like he's a magnet. What does Sophie think about that? Oh, she's used to it. And the girls all love her too. They all want to be her. She's got something like 300,000 followers on Instagram. <laughs> wow. And there's me with my measly 152. 152,000? No. Just 152. No K. Well, I'm even worse. I'm not even on Instagram. Who doesn't have an Instagram these days? Me. Yeah, I think you're the only one. Hey, there are lots of people out there who don't have an Instagram. Like who? Well, um, my grandma. <laughs> oh, oh, they're so cute, but I know someone in that group killed Andy. I do not think that it was just a coincidence that he fell in. He was pushed and I will find out who his murderer was. <laughs> you know, I think that's the first time I've seen you properly laugh. Yeah, doesn't happen often. Not these days anyway. I like it. It suits you. I'm sorry for the way I've been again. I don't mean to sound sappy. I just, I miss Andy. And it just burns me up inside that I can't turn back the clock. I wish we'd never gone to that quarry. It'll be all right, Jay. It'll be all right. Oh. <laughs> Hey, Gabriella, you're popular today. What? When I came in earlier, there was a letter addressed to you on the floor, so I must have slipped it under the door at some point while we were both out. I put it underneath your pillow. That's a weird spot to put a letter. Who's it from? It doesn't say. I wonder if it's a love letter. Gabriella has an admirer already. Wait, it 
it better not be from Jay. If it is, you'd tell me, won't you? Um, sure. But I don't think it's from Jay. I was actually just with Jay? I knew it. Don't judge me. Anyway, if it was from him, he would have mentioned something to me, surely. Oh my gosh, do you know who it could be from? Who? I... I don't even want to say it, because it would be really bad of me, but... Go on. I think Caleb might have a little bit of a thing from you. Caleb? Oh my gosh! Don't start drama, Claire! Yes, maybe this letter is a secret confession of his love for you. Okay, why would Caleb be sending me a love letter? First of all, I just met him. Don't be stirring trouble now, Claire. Seriously. Caleb's got a girlfriend, and that girlfriend is your friend, so... I'm just saying, I've noticed a definite spark in his eye when he looks at you. Kind of felt the same thing. Still, don't start spreading rumors! Do you like him? I'm not interested. He's very cute. I'm not interested. He has a girlfriend. I'm not interested. I mean, of course he's attractive, but I'm not the kind of girl who goes after other girls' guys. I wish someone would send me a handwritten letter. It's so romantic. We don't even know if it's a romantic letter. It could be like a threat for all I know. Anyway, go on, open it. The suspense is killing me. Oh my gosh. It's probably like my class schedule or something. Is it from Caleb? Or has someone else taken a liking to me? Only one way to find out. I feel like it's a threat. They're lying to you. Oh, what the frick? What the frick? Oh my god! They're lying to you about what happened at the quarry? Andy? Is Andy not really dead? What does that even mean? Oh my god. Oh my gosh, is Andy alive? I don't even know! What the heck? What the? Andy? What the heck is going on? Oh my goodness gracious! Oh. My. Gosh. So, who's it from? It's Caleb, isn't it? It's private. It's from Andy. I don't know! Okay, usually guys, I do not like lying in these situations, but I am very suspicious of this group, and I don't want Claire to kill me. Also, I don't know what it means, and I feel like telling them that their dead friend wrote me a letter might cause a little, like, distress. So, in this case, it's kind of justified to say it's private. <laughs> it's private. Oh, come on, Gabriella. You really not going to tell me who it's from? Sorry, Claire. Oh my gosh, it is from Caleb, isn't it? That's why you won't tell me. No, it's not from Caleb. It's from, from who? Just someone, okay? Let me have a look. No, 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 take it away. Hide the letter from her, show the letter to Claire. No, I don't want her to see it. No, it's none of your business. It's going straight in my pocket. Fine, if you want to be like that. But if I ever get a love letter, I'm gonna show, oh, who am I kidding? No one's gonna send me a love letter. Anyway, I'm heading off to meet some of the guys. You coming? Oh, uh, nah. I think I'm just gonna, like, chill here for a little bit. Cool. I'll catch you later, then. What does the letter mean? Uh, oh, my gosh. This whole thing is really starting to freak me out. If these guys aren't telling me the truth, then I'm just gonna have to get the truth from somewhere else. Yeah, you got this, girl. Casco Bay Police Department. Yes, we believe that Andy Gilbert fell into the Falmouth Quarry on August 5th at around 8.55 p.m. Searches are still being made in the hunt for a body. <gasps> they never found the body? <laughs> Guys, Andy is alive. He is alive. He is alive. He is well and he is bitter because someone pushed him into that quarry. <laughs> but that's correct. We have not yet been able to locate a body. Whoa. <laughs> he actually could still be alive? Can I help you with anything else, miss? Um, is there any more information you can give me about the incident? There are interview tapes with the four individuals who were present at the time of Mr. Gilbert's disappearance. Really? Can I see the tapes? Yes, absolutely. There's a fee of 20 bucks for access. Great. I really want to see those tapes. I really don't think you're allowed to do that. I think that's super illegal, but I don't have diamonds for this, so it doesn't even matter. Forget the tapes. Thank you for your help. Gabriella, who is it? Who is that? Mark? What the frick? Why is Mark here? Why is he at the police station? Was he arrested? This is my ex. What is going on? Long time no see. How have you been? 
I'm uh, doing okay. <laughs> you, me, this police station, it's like old times, huh? What does that mean? <gasps> yeah. In fact, why are you here? Don't worry, I haven't been arrested. I'm just picking up some forms. Okay, well, it's nice to see you. You haven't been responding to my texts. <gasps> it's just, like I said back in the summer, I have to move on. Will you at least get together with me sometime? Ugh, fine, but I can't hang out for long. Okay, what is, I feel like this guy is nothing but trouble. If they have been arrested together, like, why are we hanging out with him, okay? He seems like a bad influence. I've really missed you, Gabriella. What do you want, Mark? I've missed you too. I don't know, I feel like he's trouble. What do you want, Mark? What do you want, Mark? Like, really? Why do you even want to talk to me? I never fell out of love with you, Gabriella. Oh, man. You know we are not good for each other. Look what I did to you. I ruined your chances of getting into Unity College. What? How? Why would you even want to be with me after that? I'm bad for you. I know you are, so I'm the troublemaker. I know you are. You're a Big Mac and fries. I'm a what? You're really bad for me, but, but you're delicious. <laughs> Mark, look, I can't do this right now. Seeing you, it just brings back too many memories. Good memories, though. Good and bad? Come on, Gabrielle, admit it. You still have feelings for me, don't you? I'm sorry, Mark, I don't. Yes, I have feelings for you. I have no idea, okay? All I know is that apparently this is some person that I ended up in jail with and I don't feel like that's a good relationship to have with someone. Um, I don't know. I feel like I really moved on. New school, new life, new everything. See you later, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mark. I don't. I have to go, okay? Maybe Mark killed Andy. <laughs> was awkward. Anyway, I need to find out if Andy's actually alive. I need to know if he could have survived the fall. The push. There's only one way to find out. I'm going to the quarry. No! Gabriella, that's so dangerous. Oh my lord. Why? Wow. Look at this place. Oh my gosh. Okay, on the off chance that he did actually fall, why would you want to go there? No wonder they were all mesmerized by it. Gabriella, don't go in the head. I better make sure I don't slip and suffer the same fate. Except he didn't slip. He was pushed. <laughs> Watch this turn out that like he actually did slip and I'm just like making up this all, like this whole murder thing. Oh wait, no, but Andy said that they're lying. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm right. <laughs> the water must be 50 foot deep. As long as he didn't hit any rocks on the way down, there is certainly a chance that Andy could have survived the fall. But if so, where is he hiding? Why is he hiding? And why did he post that letter under my door? Gabriella? Who is it? Oh, it's Jay. Jay? Jeez, you gave me a fright then. What? What are you doing here? He's gonna be like, what are you doing here? The question is, what are you doing here? Well, I know this sounds crazy, but I got a letter this morning. A letter? From who? From Andy. <gasps> what did it say? Why? Why is he so casual about it? It's private. That no one's telling me the truth about what happened. I mean, I, we already told him it was from Andy, so. That no one is telling me the truth about what happened. What really happened, Jay? Are you going to tell me or what? I don't know who wrote you that letter, but it wasn't Andy. I actually think it might have been. It wasn't. Jay, I think Andy may have survived the fall. He didn't survive the fall. Okay, Gabrielle, he just told you how hard of a time he was having with this. Like, don't get his, like, hopes up before you even know anything. How can he be certain? Oh my gosh! <laughs> He's gonna push me! <laughs> oh my god! Because I saw him hit three different jets of rock before he hit the water. Are you certain? Were you close to him or were you further back? Because if your vision was obscured, he could have. Yes, I'm... Certain. You want to know how I'm certain? You really want to know? <laughs> Jay, you're scaring me. Peck up a little. I'm close to the edge here. You really want to know how I'm certain? Andy didn't fall over the edge, Gabriella. <laughs> I pushed him. I knew it. But I didn't think it was Jay. Oh my gosh, you guys. What is going on? I have no idea. Oh my gosh. This is so good. I love it. I'm obsessed. So <laughs> make sure you subscribe those notifications so you can come back as soon as the next video is up because you do not want to miss it it's going to be intense we'll find out what's gonna happen 
I will see you guys later. I am so excited. I really like this game. Okay, bye.